हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड कंट्रोल दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम मेकिंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट वन ऑफ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी यूजफुल फंक्शन एंड फॉर्मूला इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल व्हिच इज काउंट फॉर फंक्शन सो द काउंट फंक्शन इज यूज्ड देयर आर सेवरल काउंट फंक्शन इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल वन इज काउंट ए व्हेन वी आर काउंटिंग सम टेक्स्ट इन 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 द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल शीट वी कैन यूज काउंट ए फंक्शन सिमिलरली काउंट इफ when you are you are use counting some data using with some condition we can use can for count if formula it is used only for single condition and when there is several condition more than one condition we are going to use count if as formula so let's see how this count formula help us in microsoft excel itself now this is my microsoft excel sheet i am preparing and working on a dashboard report which is related to some tell progress sheet only and now this is uh, the work i am still working on this sheet and this something appearance or look like now our data is here in the data sheet and this data sheet is i copy this data from a uh, primary project and it is uh, this related to engineering works only so if you see here we have several uh, columns here like equity id then we have uh, we make several uh, equity code which is action in the action we have uh, submittal and review and approval means for example we, we want to know how many submittal we have to do we can select this from submittal and if we want to know how many approval we should get in this time we can go review and approval selection similarly in the type we have four type basically requalification material sh uh, shop drawing and method statement similarly if you go for discipline it is high level uh, description like civil electrical external mechanical and mep something like this here we have this one and then we have trade in the trade we divide the discipline into more detail like for example civil divided into sub structure super structure similarly finish is divided into block work tiling work floor ceiling work elite facade work similarly electrical work can be divided into electrical light electrical lighting system electrical power similarly we divide mechanical into several system hvac chill water piping condensation piping equipment ets detail this all divide uh, portable water system like this we divide here so we have basically four divisions action type discipline and trade so now we this we want to know how many activities are there in the program related to engineering so we go here and just type total number of activities Okay, this total number of activities, as I told you before, that I copy only the engineering portion of the program. It's still construction. I did not copy because I am working on a dashboard report related to engineering works only. Now, this is total number of activities we count. We using this is count a function here, and count a function we are going to use in activity ID. So just select the column, full column, and press F4 to log this formula. Press F4 to log this one and. i type again sorry count a and we go select this column and press f4 to log this one and then bracket close so you can see we have 3027 records so let's see it is correct or no so we just go here first is this our first record just press shift control and down arrow it will take you to the to the end of the values and you can see here that we have total 3026 activities so now question is that why we have we are getting 3027 so reason is that when you select this one you can see that we select the whole column so in whole column this activity id also counted which is it which is basically the uh, column header so we don't need this one so what we'll do here is just minus 1 to remove it from our count so this is the use of count a function Okay, now our second function is count if function. So count if function, for example, as I told you there before, that count if function is used when there is single condition while we are counting the data. So for example, here that in status column we have three type of status. It means completed, in progress, and started. So we want to know how many completed, how many started, and how many in progress. so we can use this condition here so you can see here we have start and progress so i just copy this one control c and put it here i copy the formula because i don't want to be any risk or any possible possibility of 
spelling mistake because spelling mistake will be counted here so we just count here completed now we put formula we select this three cell and then type count a sorry count if when you see this selected just press tab button it will go you and then just select column g which is our uh, range and press f4 to log this one and then our condition is in the column l so just select l and press control enter as i told you before this control enter help us or keep the cursor in the same cell we type our formula and at the same time it will copy the same formula in all the selected cells so we press control enter so you can see here that we have total 2195 activities are not yet started while 157 in progress and 674 are completed so cross check this one we just cal calculate total here and special sum okay. so 3026 and 3026 so you can see that this is equal so it means that we are right now our next function is count if s formula So as I told you, there is several count if s when there is a count if s formula that we can we use we are using when there is several conditions. So for example, if we want to go for the some metals, shop drawing, civil and structure. So we want to know how many drawings are there for some metals, shop drawing, which is uh, for the shop drawing some metals and which is related to civil and structure works. So we just select this values here, copy here and put it here and this value here just press right click go to special and make transpose so this is copy our data in the transpose similarly this is our action type display and trade copy this one come here and press right click then go space special and transpose so now our action is submittal type is shop drawing Discipline is civil and trade is for the structure. Yani here we want to know how many shop, shop submittals are there for shop drawing civil structure works. So we type here count if if s formula count if s. When you type your formula, press tab button, it will complete the formula. Then it will ask you criteria range. Our criteria range is the action first is the action column. So we go here and select the action column, press F4 to log this column, and our condition is that. It should be related to some metals. So this is our condition. Secondly, we go to our type. So we just select a type formula, press F4 to log this column, and our type condition is shop drawing. Similarly, our discipline, we go to discipline, select this discipline for our column, press F4 to log this column, and then our discipline is civil. Similarly, our trade. Trade we are going to trade here and we have to go. Press F4 to log this one and our trade we want to know how many civil structure shop drawings are there. So press this button and press close the parenthesis and control enter. So means that there is 78 shop drawings related to some metals and or sorry, structure works. So you can like, like here you can write here total number of activities. For civil structure, it's 78. Now our next target is that we want to know how many submitters are there we need to submit before a certain date. For example, our data date is here is 12 October. So we want to know how many shop drawings have to be submitted and approved a bit before on or before 12 October. So we type here total some metal plus review and approval review slash approval here so now we have here that the now our condition is that is related to the date so we go here we type here that here account if formula and our date our criteria range is the date because we are now considering some date so we select the start date press f4 to log this one and then our criteria range is less than or equal to 12 october so we just make 
parenthesis less than and equal to parenthesis close and then concatenate it with the date our data date is 12 october okay and then just close the parenthesis and control enter so it means it shows that since uh, since 12 october we need our total engineering work will be 123 which includes submittal plus approval now suppose we want to know how many submittal we have to do till 12 october so we put conditional formula here for example just to copy this here we type here count if s criteria range first is that our submittal this one select our action press f4 to log this one okay and status action is submitted we select submittal here and our second criteria is the is less than on or before uh, 12 october so we select the start date press f4 to log this one okay and then type print the parenthesis less than or equal to concatenate it with the data date 12 october like it close control enter so 65 means that before before 12 october we need contractor will submit 65 submittals and it will get approved 65 minus our total submittals this is total submit not approval and then we note to total approvals total approval will be equals to total submittals minus total uh, submitted plus approval plus total submittals so this is this is equals to 123 minus 161 minus 65 it's 58 means contractor will submit 65 submittal and he will get approval of 58 submitters in this case in this way we can keep track engineering progress of the contractor and can keep following up with the contractor now our one more item is that here we want to know that how many submittal we have to do different during a certain time period of time for example uh, total submittals between a week so this is here equals to our one week is 11 october then this is equals to data date plus seven days so here we can say that We just formula just keep this formula here and then calculate the number of submittal in the 19 uh, 19 october and then just minus uh, submittals from 19 october to 12 october to get it uh, how many submittal we have to do during a week or same time you can put condition if s formula can uh, condition uh, uh, count if s formula to count the number of submittal during a week that some um, our uh, uh, we can say that here this is equal to count if s formula that's criteria range this one first we go select our action press f4 and make it submittals only okay then our second condition is that our start date okay press f4 is less than or equals to 12 october and our start date again second one start date our condition select this one start date press f4 to log this one and is less than or equals to this 19 october okay then press f break it close sorry no we type again formal sorry i'm sorry for this one we put count if as formula our first criteria that we want to know the submittals only not the approval so we select action column press f4 to log this one and then our action is submittals we already selected here then our second condition that start date so we start date press f4 to log this one okay and our condition is greater than or equal to concatenate it with the start date of the week which is 12 october okay and then comma second condition is that our finish date f4 and is less than or equals to concatenated with the finish date which is 19 october 
press break it close and control enter it will not give us value here because we missed the formula here so we just type the formula here that date plus 7 days now total semitol between week is 13 so in this way you can calculate how many semitol we have to do during a certain period of time so based on this uh, all formulas and different filters I am preparing this pro semitol progress sheet which something look like this one here you can see the data date when you data change the data date from here from 12 October to for example I make 11 12 November so you can see every data has changed here and here data date is 12 November and similarly you want to see some metals you want to know how, what uh, get approved just select the approval so we will get it what is getting approved here similarly you want to uh, you remove it from here and you to see which shop drawing or what uh, some metals you want here you select here for example material select material here and which material you want electrical then you should you show you all the some metals for the electrical uh, so it's still uh, in short i still i'm working on this uh, dashboard report and soon i will come back to you with the full report for your uh, for, and share with you my uh, experience and my understanding and i hope it will be helpful for you and i hope I, if this if the video i make this i make it now is helpful for you i really appreciate if you like share and subscribe it my channel this our channel and uh, and if you I, I, I can recommend you to go and check more videos on my channel and I hope it will be very helpful for you and it will increase, enhance your productivity and your understanding so I, uh, I will appreciate again you for your time and will be thankful to you for you for your time again and will be more thankful for your if you like share and subscribe it will be a great uh, encourage, encouragement and support for me so till next video Thank you again for your time and don't watch to other videos. See you again. Take care. Bye-bye.